ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट ए सर्किट मेकिंग इन विच वी विल वेरीफाई आवर ओहम्स लॉ एज वी नो दैट ओहम्स लॉ सिंपली स्टेट्स दैट द करंट प्रोड्यूस इन एनी सर्किट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू दोल्टेज अप्लाइड ऑन both hand of the element or circuit so either this statement is wrong or true or whatsoever we have to verify it so for it we will take uh, our power source that is the dc power source and it is actually the provider of both the current and voltage okay also we need to take one resistor we will go to basic and we will select a resistor and we will take like 700 ohm resistor in order to measure the voltage and current we need a meter in all groups we need to write a meter okay and and we also need voltmeter for to observe the voltages now we have all the things except the ground okay we need ground as well so we will go to sources and we will take our ground now what we need to do is to connect the ground with the negative terminal of the battery Okay. Also, we need to we need to connect the ammeter in series with the load or resistor. Why it is so? Because we know that ammeter always needs to be in series for the measurement of current, because current is always through the component or through the element. working element but if voltmeter is concerned we always needs to connect the voltmeter across the element on which the uh what's called is the on which the voltage is applied so now this is our closed loop and we can connect the voltmeter like this now again i am repeating that ammeter is in series with this resistance while voltmeter is in parallel with this resistance now we will uh, change the voltage to 4 volt okay when the voltage is 4 we are getting 5.71 milliampere at 4 first confirm that it is 5.71 yes it is 5.71 milliampere now we will change the voltage and we will run it now you can see that rather than 5.7 milliampere we are getting 7.1 means that if we are going to increase the voltage the current is going to be increase now we will change it to 7 volt and we will okay now you can see that it is nearly 100 milliampere that is 0.01 ampere yeah it is increased a bit and now we will change it to 12 now run it and now it is 0.017 ampere simply means that 170 milliampere so we can see that when we are going to increase the voltage our current is going to be increased within the working element or load so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel